Good day. My name is Peter. Welcome to the VAT Short and Sweet series where we explore the world of value added taxes. The series consists of several short presentations that build upon each other. Today we're at presentation number 9 of 15 in our journey. See the presentation topics covered in this series for a full list of the presentations. The verbal script is not a verbatim of the written text. You can pause the video at any time to read the full text. Common themes. Number one, VAT laws tend to allow a person making a taxable transaction, i.e. supply, the ability to claim back the VAT paid on their related purchases. A supply is a transfer of a good or service. Example, a sale, a lease, a rental, barter, or change of use. This ability applies to supplies taxable at the regular rate and those that are zero rated. Zero rated supplies are taxable at 0%. These credits are sometimes called input tax credits. Number two, in certain cases, a full credit of the amount of VAT paid is not allowed. For example, the credit available for purchases that relate to entertainment, lodging, meals, or vehicles may be limited. In addition, a restriction may apply to purchases that relate to a supply that is a mixture of a taxable, regular rate or zero rated item, and an exempt item. Number three, in certain situations, a prescribed person that has not made a taxable supply can claim a full or partial refund of the VAT paid on their purchases. This option is often available to a limited audience example, diplomats or not-for-profit organizations. We will use businesses run by Caesar and his family to demonstrate the topics, themes, and elements being presented in this presentation. Let's look at a fictional example using fictional VAT law. We have scenarios, we have our common themes, and we have the end result of our analysis. Just to recap on the common themes, number one is the taxable purchase incurred to make a taxable supply. Number two is the taxable purchase subject to restrictions on the amount that can be claimed. And number three is the taxable purchase incurred by a prescribed person. In scenario number one, Caesar's store in his home country purchases inventory to make taxable supplies. The inventory is taxable at the regular rate. In this scenario, it's common theme number one that applies. It's a taxable purchase incurred to make a taxable supply. So a full credit for the VAT paid may be available to Caesar. In scenario number two, Caesar's store in his home country purchases a car to make deliveries of taxable supplies. The car is taxable at the regular rate and is subject to credit restrictions by the applicable VAT law. So in this case, it's common theme number one that applies. It's a taxable purchase incurred to make a taxable supply, but also common theme number two applies. It's a taxable purchase subject to restrictions on the amount that can be claimed. So a partial credit for the VAT paid may be available based on prescribed rules. In scenario number three, a church in Caesar's home country purchases a chair. The chair is taxable at the regular rate. The church does not make taxable supplies and is a prescribed person under the applicable VAT law. So in this case, it's common theme number two that applies. It's a taxable purchase subject to restrictions on the amount that can be claimed. So there may be restrictions here. And common theme number three applies. It's a taxable purchase incurred by a prescribed person. So the church may get a full or partial refund for the VAT paid based on prescribed rules. So in conclusion, 
Number one, VAT laws tend to allow a person making a taxable supply the ability to claim back the VAT paid on their related purchases. Number two, in certain cases, a full credit of the amount of VAT paid is not allowed. Number three, in certain situations, a prescribed person that has not made a taxable supply may be able to claim a full or partial refund of the VAT paid on their purchases. Number four, respecting all the requirements prescribed by the applicable VAT law in your country is very important. Special attention should be given to the documentation requirements prescribed. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next presentation.